we begin tonight with the revival of a 12-year-old murder case against leftist leaders, including former Bayan Muna representatives Saturo Campo, Teddy Casino, and Rafael Mariano, who was President Duterte's former Agrera Reform Secretary. Worth noting, the revival of this case comes just days after the startling political comeback of former President and now Speaker Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. It was during Arroyo's administration in 2006 that the murder cases against the leftist leaders were filed. News 5's K. Imson has the story. A 12-year-old murder case has come back to haunt four former party lease lawmakers. A Nueva Ecija court has issued arrest warrants against former Bayan Muna representatives Satur Ocampo and Teddy Casino. Former Gabriela Partilist Representative Liza Massa and former Anak Pawis and former Agrarian Reform Secretary Rafael Mariano. The four were charged by police for the abduction and killing of Danilo Felipe in 2001, Jimmy Peralta in 2003, and Carlito Bayudan in 2004. The victims are reportedly supporters of rival party list, Nagbayan. The camp of the former lawmakers claims even the judge thought the case was problematic at the start. Kami ay confident dun sa grounds ng aming motion for reconsideration. Uh, at kami ay sana ay umaasa no, na talagang titingnan ng pangalawang beses ng judge yung kanyang, yung aming effort, yung motion for reconsideration at sana ay paguhin niya no, yung kanyang pulling order na may finding ng probable cause at saka issuance ng mga Supporters of the four gathered on Friday for a show of support. The cases were filed in 2006 during the administration of former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Now that Arroyo is back in power as Speaker of the House of Representatives, the accused say it is hard to believe in coincidence. We may consider it as a coincidence, pero sa akin po, bad omen eh. Masamang pangitain na kasabay ng pagiging pagbabalik niya sa uh, kapangyarihan as uh, bagong House Speaker ay siya rin namang pag, ano, no, pagbangon ng mga cases na pinaya niya, ay persecution cases na pinaya noong panahon niya. The group says the resumption of the case would also have an impact on the future resumption of talks between the government and the communist rebels. Mariano and Maza were originally nominated by the rebels to be part of President Duterte's cabinet until they had a falling out last year. Gusto ng administrasyon dito sa Pilipinas gagawin ng peace talks. Pero paano na natin gagawin ngayon yan kung makikita niya naman yung mga progresibo under threat of arrest, di ba? So, hindi talaga siya maganda. The four accused plan to file their appeals on Monday to quash the warrants of arrest and dismiss the 12-year-old case. For News 5, I am K. Imson. We are One New.